Good day, everyone. Our topic for today is differentiating finite and infinite geometric sequence. What you will be learning today is you will be able to illustrate finite geometric sequence and infinite geometric sequence. Then you will be able to identify finite geometric sequence and infinite geometric sequence and differentiate a finite from an infinite geometric sequence. So let us start, let us explore with this given problem. Let us have problem number one. Given the first term, which is four, and the common ratio, which is three, of a geometric sequence, you are going to write the first six terms of the sequence. So how are we going to find the sixth term, the first six terms of the sequence? First, you are going to identify the given and identify what is being asked. So the given here is our first term, which is 4, denoted by our a sub 1 is equal to 4, and our common ratio, denoted by r, which is equal to 3. And you are asked to find the first six terms. So you are, you are going to start with our first term, or a sub 1, going to our last term, which is our sixth term, which is a sub 6. So to find the first six term, we are going to use the given information here about. So we have our first term, which is 4, which will be used to find the second term, which is a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1 times r, or the first term times the common ratio, which is 4 times 3, first term is 4, times the ratio, which is 3, will give us 12. So the second term is 12. To find the third term, we will use the second term, multiply it to our common ratio. So 12, our second term, times 3 will give us 36. And for our fourth term, we have 36 times 3, or a sub 3 times 3 will give us 108. And for our fifth term, a sub 4, fourth term times r, we have 108 times 3 will give us 324. a sub 6, we have a sub 5 times r will give us 324 times 3, which is 972. Now we have our first six terms of our sequence, which has a first term of 4 and a common ratio, which is 3. So we have 4, 12, 36, 108, 324, and 972. Now let's go to another problem. Supposing... If the common ratio in the geometric sequence is negative 5 and the first term is 12, what is the sixth term? To solve this problem, again, we are going to identify what is being given and what is being asked. So the given are the common ratio, which is negative 5, our first term, which is 2, and you are also given the n, which is 6, because of the word six term here. So you're looking for the sixth term, therefore n is equal to six. What is being asked here is you're going to look for the sixth term or the a sub six. So the formula that we are going to use is the formula in finding the nth term of a geometric sequence, which is a sub n is equal to the first term times the common ratio raised to n minus one. So we are going to solve this. We have a sub 6 because we are looking for the 6th term is equal to the first term, which is 2, times our common ratio, shu, which is negative 5, raised to n, which is 6, minus 1 will give us 2 times negative 5 raised to 5. Remember, when we have this kind of problem, we have to solve once first with the exponent okay with exponent first so we have negative 5 raised to 5 will give us negative 3125 multiplied to the number outside the parenthesis which is 2 will give us negative 6250 so the sixth term here is 6000 negative 6250 now let's review again how do we find the common ratio again to find the common ratio all we have to do is we are going to divide 
a term by its preceding term or the term before it. Okay, supposing we have the sequence 3, 9, 27, and 81. What is the common ratio? Okay, the common ratio is 3. How do we obtain 3? 9 divided by 3 is 3. 27 divided by 9 is 3. 81 divided by 27 is 3. So therefore, the common ratio is 3. Let's have another problem. In a geometric sequence 5, 10, and 20, how many terms are there in a sequence? And what is the last term? Can you count the number of sequences here? The, the number of terms, I mean? No. It has no specific number of terms. The last term cannot be identified. So, this sequence cannot be counted. The term of this sequence cannot be counted. Okay, let's try this one. Geometric, we have geometric sequence. You are going to identify the first term, the common ratio, the last term, and the number of terms. Okay, let's have number one. What is the first term here? Okay, we have 64. And the common ratio is 1 fourth. So 16 over 64 will give us 1 over 4 or 1 fourth. And then 4 over 16 will give us 1 fourth. So can you find the last term? No, it has no last term. And the number of terms? No, there is no exact number of terms here. And then let's have number 2. The first term here is 3, and we have a common ratio is 2, and the last term is 48. So how many number of terms? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5, 5 terms in this sequence. Okay, number 3, first term is negative 2, and then the last term is 486, and a common ratio is negative 3. So how do we find the number of terms? We are, again, going to use the geometric the finding the nth term of the geometric sequence, and it will give us 6. So n here is equal to 6, or the number of terms here is equal to 6. And the fourth number, we have 3 dots, and then 4, 2, 1, 1 half. Can you find the first term? No, cannot be determined. And then the common ratio here is 1 half, and the last term is 1 half. So... The number of terms, we have infinite because we do not know how many exactly the number of terms before 4. And for the number 5, first term is 4 and common ratio is 3 and there is no last term and the number of terms is infinite. So let us define what is infinite and finite geometric sequence. When we say finite geometric sequence, it has a fixed number of terms. While an infinite geometric sequence, it has first term, a common ratio, but has no last term. And there are three dots that tells us that the number of terms are continuous. Let's have example of finite geometric sequence. We have here 3, negative 6, 12, negative 24. We have 48 and negative 96. We have first term, which is 3, and a common ratio, which is negative 2. Uh, by the way, that's not common difference, but that's common ratio. And we have the last term, negative 96. And we have the total number of terms, which is 6. So that is an example of finite geometric sequence. And then another example, we have 3. Okay, that's it. We have 3, negative 6, 12, negative 24, 48, and 96. And let's have an example in infinite geometric sequence. We have here 2, 6, 18, and 54. We have first term, which is 2, and a common ratio, which is negative 3. But as you cannot, if you can see, there is no last term. The number of terms cannot be found, so there is no last term. 
That is why 2, 6, 18, and 54 is an example of infinite geometric sequence. So to summarize this topic, we have the lesson was about differentiating finite geometric sequence from infinite geometric sequence. And you have learned how to determine the first term, the common ratio, the last term, and the number of terms. And you also learn how to illustrate finite and infinite geometric sequence. Again, finite geometric sequence defines as the sequence which has a geometric sequence which has a first term, a common ratio, and it also has a last term. While infinite geometric sequence <coughs> is it has a first term or it has a common ratio, but has no last term, okay? And there is a continuous term denoted by the three dots there. Again, thank you everyone for listening to this lesson. God bless everyone.